Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today Monica and I are escaping the heat and we're heading up north to the ex-capital actually of Tenerife which is La Laguna and it's also the first ever established city on the Canaries. It's about 32 degrees here where we are but up there it's very different. It's about 20, 21 degrees so we'll take you with us. After getting a few messages that now we must have a UK sticker on our vehicles if we're driving or riding in the EU. Monica? Has done that. Incredible. Little bit of artwork. So we got some white stickers. Monica cut it out, did a UK sign, and that should be enough to stop us getting fined. I actually thought from looking online that it's the EU forcing us, forcing us, forcing the UK to now get rid of the GB signs, put UK ones on there. So that's what I thought. Someone else has told me otherwise, said it's actually the UK who's basically said, no, 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 now it's got to be UK stickers. So I don't know what to think now looking online. There are a million different things being said, but whatever the case is, you must now have UK stickers on, otherwise you risk getting a fine. So I've done it. Don't know why we have to do it, but there you go. Okay, welcome to Laguna. This is actually Tenerife's second largest city, and I think it's also the second largest city in the Canaries, and you can tell because there's proper traffic here. But we've parked up here, free parking for motorbikes, and I always find it interesting. What are the different types of bikes in every location? Okay, first off, I actually just completely coincidentally mentioned one of these on the podcast for sale in England for £850, Honda CB500, probably a late 90s model. That looks like, I think that may even be the 1200cc Suzuki Bandit there with Kawasaki ERF600. I was about to say this is a Vespa, but no, that's not a Vespa. Okay, I think that's a Chinese one, Suzuki V-Strom and and that is a nice BMW F800R. I don't see too many of those in the UK. You know what I was thinking a few days ago? If I were BMW and I wanted to appeal to a younger audience, I would make an 800cc modern classic with that cool boxer engine that they do. But I'd sell it for under 10k, keep it super, super simple. Nothing fancy on it at all. And I think they'd be on to an absolute winner with that. And also one I've never seen before, Macbor. So that's a 125 Macbor Roadster, but I've never heard of that. That is proper little um, Harley Davidson Sports Vista they've got with that little engine casing there. That's quite a nice little 125 actually, but I've never heard of that Macbor. This is why I love traveling with panniers because when you come for a day trip or something like that, you can put your jackets in there, obviously not panniers, but you can lock the bike, put the helmets there, leave all this stuff like gloves you don't want to take around and it just makes exploring a city so much more relaxing. But this is really full actually, this motorcycle parking. We're just lucky that there was one spot left by the time we arrived. I have to actually say something else. Don't know if that's the Scottish flag or if Grand Canaria have a similar flag. Sea Shepherd. Okay, let's, should we go and explore? Yeah. Let's go. So we parked the bike just over there and that is a bustling bike park there. We've had about four different bikers coming and going. They're really busy, but it's such a great spot because this is very, very different to the touristy area of Adeja and even near where we are. This feels very different. It's much more historical. All of the buildings look far older and actually they've got far, far more character, I can already tell. This is a beautiful old town square. I'm really excited to see what it's like here. I've just seen the Scottish flag at the top of this hotel and I thought, what's, what's the link between Scotland and Tenerife? And I'm completely wrong. Tenerife has the exact same flag as the Scottish flag. And the reason they have the same flag is because they share the same patron 
patron saint, and that's St Andrew, and that's why the flags are exactly the same. But that is not the Scottish flag, it's the Tenerife flag. shops seem to be closed and I think they're closed from one o'clock in the afternoon to five in the evening so they have a nice three to four hour lunch break. It's that quality of life isn't it? I love that quality of life. That comes first. Just sitting here near the church, beautiful the church bells going on. A couple of coffees, cheesecake to share, although I don't know about sharing, I may have to get my own after this. But I've got a tip, if you ever go on rides with your partners and they don't fancy a long ride, promise them, promise them a cake and coffee and they will come with you. Works every time with Monica. La Laguna is a world, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And the reason it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site is because of its cultural significance. So it's built on a grid pattern, meaning that the roads and the streets all crisscross, straight lines exactly. You can see almost all the way from one end to the other. And it's thought to be Spain's first properly well thought out, well planned city. And as a result of the success of La Laguna, subsequent other colonial cities around the world, predominantly South America, were built on La Laguna's grid plan. For example, Havana Old Town in Cuba was built on the blueprint of La Laguna from the success of this grid pattern. It's so interesting. Plus the fact now it's pedestrianized. So walking around from different street to different street, there are no cars. It's just a really nice, relaxing place to be. Well, a warning, if you use the loos in this place, there are motion sensors to turn the lights on. And I was in there and then the lights and motion sensors turn off and you can't wave to turn them back on. So I was in pitch black for about two minutes, not knowing what was going on. But this place is really good. Cafe, Parmelita, two coffees, cake, six pounds, but just a really, really nice spot. But you've been warned about the bathrooms. That's something you wouldn't expect to see. Old Royal Enfield. Wow, I have, I have no idea how old that would be. That is a beauty. Amazing. 
We just picked up a couple of these, Dorada Tenerife beer, no alcohol but with lemon. Super, super popular here. And we're going to try and ride into the hills here because these are the Anaga Hills. Apparently they're beautiful and you get a great view of La Laguna. So, we're going to enjoy these with a good view if we can actually find the spot. Before we leave La Laguna, let's do gear for the day. Start with the helmet, DMD 75 helmet. It's just so good for warm weather riding and that, I know a few people have asked that, this visor is a specific DMD 75 visor. It's specific for this exact helmet and it does work really well. I, I use this helmet a lot actually, it's super, super comfortable. Gloves, tobacco rough up gloves, California company and it fits so perfectly with this weather. RST jacket or RST riding shirt, it's only about 120 pounds, really lightweight. It actually washes really well, so it gets a slightly worn look and I really like this jacket with, and these have been so, so hard for me to find. These are the Revit Alpha Chinos sand color. And actually before we left, Monica said to me, oh, aren't you wearing riding trousers today? The best compliment you can get, they look brilliant really really nice you often can't pick it up but really nice thick material and it took me so long so long to find San Chinos with TCX X-Blend boots I wear these all the time there's a reason because they're so comfortable I keep going back to them when I know we've got to walk a long time always wear these but before we head off look at this this is what really excites me this is an everyday Honda CB500 and it has it's got 65, wow, listen to this, 65,000 kilometers on the clock. That is proper mileage, but look at the condition of it. Look at the frame here, there's no rust at all. All of the, the, the engine, beautiful frame there going down from the exhaust. This is a proper used commuter bike, glorious condition. Let's try this. Oh, that's good. That's so good. This is a brilliant spot of La Laguna here. We're actually in Anaga Park, but we'll do this for another vlog because it's such a nice area in general. So green and lush. You can see the ocean over there. But, should we walk over? Okay, that's La Laguna there. I'll grab both of these, Monica. Come over this way. And over this side, the ocean, the, the vegetation and the scenery is so different up here because it is noticeably cooler. I would describe where we live as shorts and flip-flops and I would describe this as t-shirt and jean weather, but it's, it's so much more lush, but it's beautiful up here. I can't wait to actually do a few rides up in this area. And you've just got a little horse there as well in its own little 
small field it's just so much more lush you wouldn't really get horses down being able to graze where we are but that's it should we wrap it up here thanks so much for coming along with us on today's ride please do give the video a like subscribe to the channel see you in the next one